Hello everyone. So today I'm going to walk through this uh, Excel spreadsheet that I've created. So a few years ago I decided I wanted to make an Excel spreadsheet for fantasy football, uh, for fantasy football drafts in particular, because I'm in a fantasy football league where we do a live draft. We don't draft online on ESPN's website. We actually meet together and have the draft in person together. So I wanted to um, create a spreadsheet so that we could do that, you know, put it up on the TV screen, have everyone sit around on the couch in the living room together and just go through our draft together. Um, so this first tab, the notes, is just kind of, you know, the notes for how to use this spreadsheet. If someone was to access this file and was not familiar with it at all, they could just look, read down through here, and it's for it just gives the gist of how to use it. Um, but today I'm just going to walk through it with you myself. So the next tab we go to is the snake draft setup. So here, basically the only thing you'll touch is this league size thing right here so right now it's set to 10 because most leagues standard leagues 10 teams um, but I've seen some with 8 some with 12 the one I'm in in particular is 8 um, so to change this from 10 to 8 you just put an 8 there and then enter and you'll see how it manipulated these cells over here so I turn it back to 10 boom eight boom so what this is basically doing is just, it's setting up the snake draft so like these are the picks one two three four five six seven eight so team eight has the eighth pick and then they also have the ninth pick because it's a snake draft so it goes one all the way down to eight then team eight picks again at nine ten all the way down to sixteen and team one picks at sixteen and then they pick again at seventeen and then back and forth back and forth back and forth until the draft is over so with, on this particular spreadsheet I have it to where it'll go up to 12 teams um, so you can see here if I put in a 12 there it goes all the way up and even if you have an odd number of teams like nine in your league you could do that as well um, but for this purpose I'm going to do eight for this one because my league is eight and that's kind of how I have it set up right now um, so then the next tab is the live draft and this is where you're going to do your entire draft process together this is the main screen that you'll be looking at on draft day and everyone will look at this um so but i'm going to go ahead and describe these other ones so i have the player database it's just a list of all the players um basically every year the only thing i have to update is this tab and the next one i come in here and i just go online and i i find a website that has an excel sheet with a database of all the players so i just go on here update it um that's about it uh, then by weeks i come out in here and every year you know arizona cardinals they have a week 12 buy so i edit that there and it's pretty easy to do this is probably the toughest thing it it maybe takes me about 30 minutes every year to just go in find a list of players um, their team so basically all I need is player name and then the team so AJ Brown plays for Tennessee and then from there I do a V lookup oh I also need their position but you can find all that easily online so player name team position and I do a V lookup so I look up Tennessee's bye week and it fills it in automatically there um, and then I also have a draft sheet, just a printout for everyone so that they can, as they draft, they can write down their player, the position, the bye week, all that. Um, so back to the live draft sheet. So here, like I said, this is where the entire draft process takes place. So I have it set up right now for eight teams. But as I told you earlier, it go up to 12. So I have nine and 10 here. And then also have, uh, you can see it like right here where it's hidden. I have, oh, shoot my bad okay so i have here where um i have 11 and 12 i just gotta unhide them so you see that there um so i'm gonna go ahead and hide those again but here so you see you just go through and you draft so i created this drop down list here so you see this arrow you go here and it's alphabetical by first name or team name like Defense slash special teams. So 49ers defense slash special teams is first up there. Um, Bears, Bills. So 
say with the first pick, I'm just gonna, I'm not doing this, like, legit, so I'm just gonna pick random people. Dak Prescott. Um, so see how it auto-fills here. It does a V-lookup, so it finds Dak Prescott's position and his bye week, and it auto-fills there. And then you'll see down here, I have a count if rule. Um, so basically, for the quarterback's line, it goes through and it counts through here how many times it's, it finds QB, and it adds a total there. So say, so then it'll go back around, and they'll have the 20th pick. And say we pick another quarterback. Say we'd have Aaron Rodgers. Oh, I went way too far. I forgot it's 8, not 10. Alright, control Z that. So, the 16th pick, Aaron Rodgers. Alright, so you see it filled in there. Um, so And then two quarterbacks down here. So that way it helps you keep track of how many of each position you have on your team. And also worth noting is, in my league, we have 8 teams and also 20 roster spots so i have this go down to 20 you don't have to if it cuts off at 16 i think so if it cuts off at 16 no big deal that's just where you'll stop you'll when you reach the end because i think most leagues are about 10 teams 16 rounds um so you'll see here uh right, yeah let's let's do pick eight so say i pick eight they take aaron jones and then team eight picks again at pick nine and they take, uh, let's take Alvin Kamara. So, they take Aaron Jones, Alvin Kamara. So, it auto fills there, fills in their position by week, and it counts how many running backs you have on your team down here, too. But say I went over here, I changed this to 10 league size. So, you see, it changed all that. So, I'm just going to show you how this tab manipulates the live draft tab. So, you can see. Where I had Alvin Kamara here, he's no longer there. That's because I changed it to a 10-team league. So since that was the ninth pick in an 8-team league, Team 8 would have picked ninth. But in a 10-team league, Team 9 would have picked ninth. So it fills in over here. So that's how that basically messes with that. So I'm going to change this back to 8. And essentially, like I said, you just go over here. You pick your player, so say team two picks Adam Thielen, it fills in here, and voila. So you just go and each person picks their team, or picks their player, and you do it in the snake draft way, and then when you're done, you're done. And then you can go online, whatever uh, service you use for fantasy football, we use ESPN, and you go in and then it takes a little time to manually key in all the players, but um espn you just start typing in like you could type in da and dak prescott will automatically fill in and you just pick them um so it's easy to to manually add all the players to the teams afterwards it maybe takes 10 minutes so that's about it if anybody wants access to this let me know and i'll send them the file it's really great um i've got it up to date for 2021 I know probably a lot of leagues have already had their fantasy football drafts this year, but you're more than welcome to, if you haven't, to reach out to me and I'll send this to you. Or even next year, I'll uh, I'll have this updated for 2022. All I have to do is just come in and update the player database in the bye weeks, and uh, I'll send it to you if you want it. And also you can see here, I have it to where I have a uh, conditional formatting so, you know, Aaron Jones was picked already, so it shows that he was selected, and it highlights it red. So if they're available, it stays green, and it says available. If they're not, then it highlights it red and says they've been selected, so they're unavailable. Um, I think that's about all I got, but, um, oh yeah, I also, uh, I have freeze panes on, so it freezes here. Um, so when you're scrolling... This all stays up here, but you'll notice down here it's scrolling down because when you get past pick 28 and you you know you're in pick 50, you're gonna need to scroll down and uh, take Adrian Peterson. I oh, see how it auto filled there. Um, so yeah, it's always gonna auto fill in the right spot by week zero. That's because he's a free agent, so that's kind of a good example there. So free agents it just auto fills zero. Um, you can see. Adrian Peters, it's in Alpha. Adrian Peters, FA for free agent. So, yep, that's about it. 
Well, if anyone has any questions, just let me know.